Hi, my name is Bora Jambula and this is a supplementary video for our course data visualization. And as you know, we are using Python for this course and I have covered multiple subjects about some basic things about the Python in the laboratory in our lectures. So I have published this cheat sheet uh, about the data structures in Python. And as you know, we have some primitive types in Python uh, like the strings or integers, floating point numbers, and some Boolean variables. And also we have these sequences types. So we have lists, sets, dictionaries, and tuples. And we have these uh, looping methods, iteration methods to uh, iterate over all these sequences. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to be using all these structures a lot. So I want you to know all of these subjects. And besides, I want you to know also the decorated concept about the functions in Python. We have covered the subjects and uh, I'm not going to uh, publish any videos about these subjects. All right. So in this course, uh, we are going to be visualize the data. So basically we have two uh, types, two main roads in this course the first part is about the data and the second part is about to visualize this data so to do this i'm going to start by using by creating a flask project and with the flask project we can just publish our visualization uh, in a web application so let's get started by running our favorite ide which is pycharm and then uh, we are going to create a Flask project and for PyCharm you can have the community version which is the free version and also you can have the professional version by using your EDU uh, email addresses. Uh, it's a very uh, easy step so you should just register to the JetBrains website and you can get the professional version. And in the professional version when you click this new project link you can get all these options and you can select the flask uh, then you can create your flask projects uh, with the default settings and if you don't have the professional version so you should just adjust the uh, running methods i'm going to show you this method also so let's get started by creating a flask project i'm going to use the name let's say for example data with zero one and with this project i'm going to create also a new virtual environment i strongly recommend you to do this in your projects because uh, it's a very useful method to understand the package that you are going to install into this virtual environment and you can uh, understand the difference between a, a default distribution or pre-configured uh, distribution and your uh, custom distribution including the package that you are going to need all right and you can select the method uh, like me virtual n or you can select the pip environment or you can select the conda version it doesn't matter i'm going to prefer the virtual n method so you can also select the python version that you want to work with it uh, i'm going to select python 3.8 and Please be sure about don't select the Python 2 versions, all right? And you can select one of the Python 3 versions. So let's click the Create button now. <laughs> all right, now we have virtual environments with the same name data with zero one and we have all the required packages in this virtual environment to use the flask in our project let's make it full screen all right this is the default file coming with the flask project so if you don't have the professional version as i said so you should just create a new python project and then you should add this configuration by yourself all right so with this configuration let's click the play button now to see the to see the what we are going to have you should run the 
flex project by using this configuration all right python dash m flask run and when you do this you can uh, run your file uh, like a flask project so a flask project published the web application published our uh, web doc uh, web document uh, by using this uh, local ip address and also this default port which is 5000 and when you click this link you can just see the output and for now we just have this hello world output which is a string output and it's coming from this function here right and also this line is for the decorator so this decorator links this function hello world with this url so a user asks for this url then this function runs and produces this output and for now it just produces a string with the hello world all right we have the flask class from the flask library imported and also we have this definition which creates our app as an instance to the flask class all right and we have this main part which is uh, which runs when somebody runs this app.py file directly so when he or she does this this name dunder name dunder should be equal to dunder main dunder and then this object the run method from this object runs all right so this is the method how you can create your flask project and when you done this part you can continue with the next video